Today's presentation is on understanding food waste, and we'll try and understand how much food is wasted, its impact on the environment, journey of food from farm to fork. We'll try and see where food waste occurs along its whole supply chain, which food item particularly are the major contributors towards the wastage. We will also see how food waste can be managed. And lastly, I'll try to link this presentation to my experience I had um, and hence, I'll try and point out to the potential business problem that arises from that experience. So to give you a perspective, about 1 billion tons of food is wasted, wasted every year, which is approximately equivalent to $1 trillion. And again, putting this into perspective, Australian GDP is around $1.6 trillion. So you can understand how much food is wasted globally every year. This wastage is equivalent to quarter of water that is used for agriculture again throughout the world. And because of this wastage, which goes to the landfill, it leads to producing 8% of the total global GHG emissions. So it's a very big issue. Now, looking at Australia, we are to around 7.6 million tons every year. It costs households around $20 billion dollars which is approximately more than $2,500 per household if we were to divide this amount among each household across Australia. Imagine what you could be doing with this money every year. In this slide, we'll see the significant impact on the environment. So we understand that we need food for our consumption and we, we know that it needs to be grown. And for that, we require water, land, energy, fuel as basic requirements. When they are combined together, they help in producing, I mean, help in vegetation, manufacturing, from manufacturing to packaging, from packaging to distribution. And finally, we get it, uh, get it uh, prepared and then we consume it, which is actually the whole supply chain that you are seeing right now, which is journey from the farm to fork. Imagine what if a significant portion of this is disposed of in a landfill. To again give you a perspective, according to a study, over 650,000 Australians seek food relief each month. So even if a portion of this whole waste can be saved or can be consumed and not go into the landfill, we can fill so many stomachs. This is a, a slide which shows the whole supply chain in a graphical manner. So it's a primary, like we produce into agriculture, then it's processed, which includes manufacturing, then it gets distributed to retail, and then it comes on to our plate. Over here, this chart or this table shows uh, where the waste occurs mostly. So we've seen the supply chain. So it's divided into six, sta uh, six stages, which is primary processing, distribution, retail consumption, uh, and the treatment of that food. We see there is a lot of emissions that take place at each stage of supply chain. There is use of water. And if we quantify it into in terms of money, then this is the amount of money that goes into uh, in all these processes as waste. Over here, the whole supply chain, we are giving a perspective of our resource wastage in terms of percentage. Here we further realize that maximum of waste occurs at the consumption level across the supply chain. So if you see all the four tables, where waste in volume percentage, water loss percentage, emission percentage, and cost impact percentage, you see that consumption has a bigger role to play in across the supply chain. And as uh, we discussed previously, if all of this wastage is accounted for in terms of money, it's approximately $1,000 per person. I talked about around $2,500 per household. So assuming that there'll be two adults and two kids. So you can imagine it's almost $1,000, more than $1,000 per person. Where does this money go? It actually goes to a trash bin. And the bigger tragedy is we do it ourselves with our own hands. So this is the money in terms of food that goes into the trash and ultimately lands up in the landfill. 
in this slide, we'll try and understand, uh, we'll see some list of food items. So these are the food items that have been uh, marked as uh, leading to the maximum wastage in terms of food wastage. So we almost waste around 31 gigaliters of water loss, which happens. This is equivalent to 8% of all uh, residential water use in Victoria. Then the climate impact stat says that 3.5 million tons of CO2 equivalent is released in the air as GHG emissions, which is almost 2.8% of the Victoria's total emission. Uh, so these are quantified in terms of uh, food items over here. Now further going deeper, uh, I'm trying to flesh out the food waste at consumption level in hospitality and household level. And we can see that at household level, it's almost 32%. The hospitality share is around 16 and the institutions, uh, it's around 3%. And further breaking up hospitality into commercial and non-commercial, we'll see that these are the areas or these are these uh, uh, bodies where maximum wastage happens. So we discussed in the previous slide that it costs an average of around uh, more than $2,500 uh, to household in Australia. 2.2 million tons of food is wasted from the commercial and industrial sectors, hence resulting in significant waste disposal and lost product cost of, to the business. In this slide, we can see that these are the uh, 15 food items where the maximum, because of which the maximum waste happens. And out of these 15 items, these are the uh, products or the food items which uh, contributes to the maximum uh, of the food waste out of these altogether. In this slide, we'll try and understand the uh, how food wastage can be managed and what are the different processes. So first up, we can have efficiency and innovation at the agriculture level itself to reduce food wastage and, uh, or the produce wastage at that level. We can have um, food ordering or transport and storage practices, like something like cold storages to have a longer life of the produce. We can have uh, effective and sustainable packaging which can, again, increase the life of the uh, shelf life of food. We can have uh, partnerships that can help uh, food and grocery retailers and other organizations to come together and uh, solve this problem. And also, we need a data standardization for measuring the food waste, which can help everyone. Here, I'll take some time to explain uh, my experience. I have two kids. One is five and one is two and a half. And I had few opportunities last uh, one and a half years or two where uh, I had to take my kids to birthday parties and these parties were mostly at the play centers. And I've seen that uh, that at play centers, uh, we have big, uh, uh, we have a group of kids around eight, anywhere from eight to 20 or more than that. Normally, what happens is at these play centers, they are, they offer a package of minimum of eight kids can come together and they have a break-even point with eight kids. So uh, the host or the people who are taking that uh, services would are encouraged to have at least eight kids in that party or more. So, uh, of course, that package also includes the play area and as well as the food that they serve at the center. But... Uh, Mostly, uh, you'll see that it's not bring your own food, uh, except the cake. So food will be served there. They insist that whatever you want to have, have it from the center itself. So they don't actually encourage you bringing something from outside. And unfortunately, after every visit, I realized that food was served to the kids and it never gets finished. Ultimately, it goes to the bin. And that has happened in front of me many a times. And the irony is that it happens in front of all the parents. Uh, kids, for some reason, don't complete it. I mean, they don't finish their food just because they are in a mood of, or in the mood of very playful uh, mood. And they just want to cut the cake, have it, and uh, run to the play center again to play. But 
the thing is food gets wasted at the end of the day here comes the business problem there are more than uh, i was just checking the internet and trying to find out how many registered play centers are there in victoria so or particularly in melbourne so around melbourne in and around melbourne there are more than 100 play centers or play center cafes so if any estimation can be done uh, for the food waste and accordingly some measures can be taken hopefully it can make a difference so i'll end my presentation here thank you